What is it about some of these brands? Because I, I, I look at it, you bring up LG, right? Yeah. LG seems like it just can't get over the hump. And yeah. I love, uh, you know, your, 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 uh, your series on foldables. LG has, you know, come out with their version of the foldable and now the, the wing. The wing, yeah. LG wing. Mm-hmm. And, and for a guy like you, I got to believe that that's pretty fun, whether it, it, it'll go into wide scale use with, with the average Joe consumer remains to be seen. But my question is, there are just some brands that have a lot of hype around any phone they put out. Right? Yeah. It just, I mean, it doesn't matter what drops. iPhone can release a new phone and it has one new feature that just ridiculously, like, really? And everybody's talking about it, they got to get the new iPhone. Same thing with Samsung. But I've also noticed the same thing with, you know, like a OnePlus. Um, you know, yeah. they've slipped in the marketplace. Like, what is it that these brands are doing so right that has the word of mouth and the people talking, because I believe me being a marketing and promotion um, guy, it, it, there's no better marketing that you can get than word of mouth, than one peer talking to another peer and saying, you got to get this. Or conversely, you got to stay away from that. What, yeah. what are they doing so right that, you know, maybe even the Pixel, because I remember when the, even the Pixel, um, that series came out and they switched from, I forget what it, the next one, when they switched it over and rebranded as the Pixel. Every, it's yeah, from the like, Nexus to the Pixel, yeah. Exactly. yeah. It, it seems like OnePlus took the place of what the Pixel should be yeah. um, in the marketplace. Like, wh- what are they doing so right? You know, it's funny. I think you the, of the two examples you brought up, I think they're totally different stories and different approaches to success. Mm-hmm. Samsung. For years, man, even when I got into this business, no tech reviewer carried a Samsung phone. They were popular, but they weren't like there were so many other brands that were doing Android right, doing more interesting things with design or with features, whatever. Um, But Samsung had the scale and the commitment to just keep on driving and keep on going and keep on relentlessly improving. It took them, in my opinion, it took them a very long time. They eventually got to this place where not only do I carry a, a Samsung as one of my two daily drivers, but I love it. And, you know, that's just because they've gotten to a place where they can redefine what a phone is. Unbelievable. OnePlus, on the other hand, they had such a tight, well-made product, perfectly targeted at the people they were going after, basically from the first one, a couple of hiccups here and there, but almost every year they're kicking out a phone that's amazing and that is priced very competitively. And OnePlus kept screwing up in the beginning. Remember how, like, their PR was a disaster for the longest time, or their, rather their marketing, not their PR. Their, you know, their advertising, man, they just could not stop making flubs. It was embarrassing. And yet, they were so successful because the product was so rock solid. And now, look at them. Now they're in carrier stores in the U.S. as a major manufacturer. But in the same breath, they're not all that different from Samsung because as much as OnePlus loves to sell this, it, itself as a, I'm a, I'm a little upstart. Look at me go. Help, help uh, kickstart our phones. They're owned by BBK. They're owned by one of the biggest electronics conglomerates in China. You know, the same house as Vivo and Oppo. So I think OnePlus really got to where they are by controlling the message. As much as they screwed up for years on the marketing side, I really think that they kept selling the driving home this thing of this is who we want to be perceived as and then on the back side whether you believe that or not isn't this a really great phone and it's what you know it was what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you know anybody that can benefit from this message Feel free to share. Peace and love.